हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द बुक एंड नोट्स दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट टू ऑफ केमिस्ट्री क्लास इलेवन चैप्टर थ्री द पीरियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल प्रोवाइड यू द बेस्ट हैंड रिटन नोट्स सो यू आर फर्स्ट एडवाइज टू वॉच द वीडियो टिल लास्ट एंड देन डाउनलोड द पी डी एफ फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्सन बॉक्स एंड डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर द वीडियो अमंग योर फ्रेंड टू मोटिवेट अस लेट अस कम टू मॉडर्न पीरियोडिक टेबल In nineteen hundred and thirteen, English physicist Henry Moseley observed regularities in the characteristic X-ray spectra of element. He plotted a graph of under root v versus atomic number, which gave a straight line. Here, as you can see, that under root v versus atomic number graph is giving a straight line slope. And in case of under root v versus mass number, he got irregular graph he thereby showed that the atomic number is a more fundamental property of an element than atomic mass now let us come to the modern periodic law the modern periodic law states that the physical and the chemical properties of the element are the periodic function of their atomic number now the atomic number is equals to the nuclear charge that is the number of protons or the number of electron in a neutral atom it is then easy to visualize the significance of quantum number and electronic configuration in periodicity of elements this line clearly means that the atomic number is equals to the nuclear charge or the nuclear charge is the number of proton or the number of electrons and here is the diagram of periodic table and now let us come to the characteristics of the modern periodic table the first characteristic is the modern periodic table consists of seven horizontal rows called periods and 18 vertical columns called groups now let us come to the periodic table here the horizontal rows are seven in number and this is called period while the vertical columns are 18 in number and these vertical columns are called groups elements having similar outer electronic configuration in their atom are arranged in vertical column referred to as groups or family this means that those element which have the similar outer electronic configuration are arranged in the same group now the third one is the period number corresponds to the highest principal quantum number of element in the period this means that if an element lies in the second period then the principal quantum number of that element will be 2 and similarly if the element lies in the third period then the principal quantum number of that element will be 3 now the fourth characteristic is the first period contains two elements and the subsequent period contains 8 8 18 18 and 32 elements respectively here you can see that in the first period the two elements are present and similarly in the second period eight elements are present and in the third period eight elements are present and so on now the fifth characteristic is the seventh period is incomplete and sixth period would have theoretical maximum on basis of quantum number of 32 element this means that the seventh period is incomplete and on the basis of the theory it would have 32 elements let's come to the last characteristic in this form of periodic table 14 element of both sixth and seventh period that is lanthanide and actonides are placed in separate panels at the bottom now let us come to the periodic table and here we can see that the lanthanoid and the actinoids are placed in separate rows from the periodic table now let us come to the nomenclature of element with atomic number greater than 100 a question arises why do the nomenclature of new discovered element led to some controversy in the recent years for this let us come to the answer scientist before collecting the reliable data on the new element at times get tempted to claim for its discovery 
example both american and soviet scientists claimed credit for discovering element 104 the american named it rutherfordium whereas the soviets named it kurchatovium question is there what did iupsc do to avoid this problem of nomenclature to avoid such problem iupsc has made recommendation that until a new element is discovery is proved and the name is officially recognized a systematic nomenclature be derived directly from the atomic number of that element and using the numerical root from 0 to number 1 to 9 simply it means that the nomenclature will be based upon the atomic number now let us come to the notation for iupsc nomenclature of elements here the digit name and abbreviation are given and the, if the digit is 0 then its name will be nil and its abbreviation will be n and the digit is 1 then the name will be un and its abbreviation will be G, uh, u and if the digit is 2 its name will be bi and abbreviation will be b and if the digit is 3 its name will be tri and the abbreviation will be t if the digit is 4 its name will be quad and its abbreviation will be q if the digit is 5 its name will be pent and its abbreviation will be p if the digit is 6 its name will be hex and its abbreviation will be h and if the digit is 7 its name will be sept and abbreviation will be s if the digit is 8 its name will be oct and abbreviation will be o and if the digit is 9 its name will be n and its abbreviation will be e let us come to the nomenclature of element with atomic number of 100 if the atomic number is 101 then its name will be unnil anium now a problem arises that how unnil anium is named so we will solve it we know that un is un stands for 1 and nil stands for nil stands for 0 and again un stands for 1 and at last a suffix is used so 101 is named as un nil un em now 102 1 for un 0 for nil and 2 for by and em as a suffix similarly 103 un then nil then try then em then 104 un nil quad em 105 one un 0 nil 5 pent then suffix em and 106 un then nil then hex then em hexem un nil hexem then 107 that is un then nil then sept then em un nil septem 108 un then nil then oct then em 109 un then nil then n then em un nil enium then 110 un un nil em then 111 un 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 nium then 112 un un by um then 113 un un try then em un un try em then 114 one for un one for un then 4 for quad and suffix em un un quad em then 115 un un pent then em un un pent em 116 un un hex em un un hex em then 117 un un then sept then em un un sept em then 118 un un oct then em un un oct em now there are some of the official names of this atomic number from 101 to 118 so let us come to the official name the official name of atomic number 101 is mendelevium and the official name of 102 is nobelium and official name for 103 is laurentium and the official name of 104 is rutherfordium and the official name for 105 is dubnium and official name for 106 is sivorgium and official name for 107 is borium and official name for 108 is hasium and official name for 109 is matnerium and official name 
फॉर वन हंड्रेड टेन इज डार्म स्टेडियम एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड इलेवन इज रॉन्ग जेनियम एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड टूल इज कॉपरनीसियम एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड थर्टीन इज निहोनियम एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड फोर्टीन इज फ्लेरोवियम एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन इज मॉस्कोवियम एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन इज लिवर मोरियम एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड सेवेंटीन इज टेनेसिन एंड द ऑफिशियल नेम फॉर वन हंड्रेड एटीन इज ऑर्गेनेसन